So you must meet a lot of really interesting folks on the road. Do you ever, um, I know a lot of uh, performers travel in buses. Um, do you see, have you run into like any rock bands or country stars or other? No, occasionally you do, but they're going heading the other way, you know, and they're so fast. And, uh, I remember one time, uh, uh, my old buddy, what the heck's his name, the guitarist, the wonderful guitarist. Uh, John Cash? Ray Clark? Who? Ray Clark? No, no. Uh, Did you reset the, uh, the mileage, Dad? Yes. Uh, Was yes. it shaking much, or? You need another sock or anything? Uh. <laughs> Mukwanago. Mukwanago. How about that? Mukwanago. Where are you from? Mukwanago, sir. Muka what? Mukwanago, sir. Boy, can you imagine? Where's that? And uh, in Wisconsin, sir. Oh yeah, never heard of it. Mukwanago. Yeah, you must come across some really surprising names and places. You must see some really uh, unusual cities and towns, names and. Oh lordy, yeah. Oh yes. And Look at those beautiful farms up in there. Isn't that gorgeous? They're great big silos. And then there's uh, all sorts of uh, attractions around. Do you like to go um, uh, recreation or, or sightseeing? Do you well, like actually, it's a combination of both, you know? You're sightseeing all the time. And uh, if you want to stop for recreation, you do that too, you know? It's, uh, it's six of one and a half dozen of the other. Yeah. What kind of, um, I mean, what, what are, I mean, do you, do you park the, the bus isn't parked at home, is it? Yeah, whenever whenever I'm uh, I'm at home, it's uh, parked over at um, an airport that's close to the house, and uh, I keep it in the hangar. And uh, I guess that's where something like the, you know anything big. I mean, anybody's buses couldn't be parked at home. But um, again, now anything big like this couldn't be parked. Well, I like to keep it under with. cover, you know. But uh, it's did did you design the logo, the sun bum? Oh yeah, yeah, they love it. I've had people come by and go, you know, make the the sign. They love it. <laughs> now, yeah. what is that? Is that a clown on uh, the logo of the sun bum? Is that a, 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 a behind, the the fella? That's you um, on the back, isn't it? Well, they tried to make my face uh, as close as possible to it, you know, with the gap in the teeth and everything else. Um, actually, uh, I used to have a boat, a 37-foot Egg Harbor one time, which was pretty much the Cadillac of boats at the time, but. I was working so hard and making so many pictures all at one time that uh, I just never got to use it. So one day I, I gave it to a college in Colorado and, um, and that was it. It was called a sun bum. So I said, someday I'm going to own something and maybe another boat. I'll call that the sun bum again. And uh, then I got this brilliant thought one day that by golly, that's what I'll call the bus. Sun bump. And it's a perfect name for it. So, there we are. Sun bum and all. Do you take it to uh, uh, movie sets? I mean, if you're doing a film or a picture, do you, uh, a lot of people have trailers. Do you bring the bus to the set? No, not really. I. Uh, the way they work today in uh, in motion pictures, they don't uh, they don't they have their own uh, things and that they uh, that they uh, 
furnished for the, uh, the, the cast and uh, they don't appreciate it too much, you know, if you bring your own. Although I, you know, a lot of people do and then charge them for it, but uh, listen, it all depends how long you're actually on the film. If you're a good long time, then I certainly would bring it. But uh, for just a few days, it isn't worth it. What do you think about the way films are made now? I mean, uh, Chris was, uh, we were talking earlier, and you've made so many films, I think it's been, you've made more than any other person. Uh, that's what the, record, the history books say. I mean, you've, and, and so the system's a lot different now. I mean, is there anything that you could say about the, the way the film business has changed? Well, I refuse to make pictures where I have to swear. I, I, listen, we all know how to swear, but why bring it to, you know, why say it just what, to make a point? I, people used to make points all the time without swearing in motion pictures, and it was wonderful. But now they have to curse and, and carry on like wild people. For what? To do the same thing that, uh, that we used to do without cursing at all. And I refuse to make those kind of films. I don't think we should teach our young people uh, the art of cursing. It, it doesn't mean anything. It, it, and it shows how really uh, your, uh, your vocabulary is just about as nil when you, uh, when you do that, as far as I'm concerned, anyway. So you're going to bring your grandson up? Uh, oh, one day, one day I'm going to take my little old grandson and bring him up here. Well, Jeffrey, I'll put him behind the wheel. <laughs> I won't let his dad behind the wheel. His dad's nuts, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll we'll get we'll talk to Chris uh, behind the wheel when the bus is parked. Yeah, <laughs> really. Yeah. That would be much safer. <laughs> <coughs> uh, Ernie, can you show the picture of uh, Jeffrey, your grandson? Yeah, yeah, got him right here. There he goes. How about that? <laughs> A little Spitfire. Yeah. Boy, he is too. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, some boy. So, so his his name his middle name's uh, Ernest. Ernest. Yeah. Jeffrey Ernest. Yep. How many grandkids? Uh, I've got three. three. My daughter up in uh, up in Minnesota has two daughters, and uh, they're beautiful too. Shelby and Shaylin, yeah. absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. How are they doing back there? All right. Uh, in the bus here or back uh, behind? In the, in, in the, the Winnebago. Uh, Winnebago. Oh, he's back there. <laughs> he's struggling hard to get. <laughs> he said it's a blast. <laughs> Tell you what, uh, let me stop Dave here. Just change the angle of the camera okay. so that you know that it's not all the same shot. Okay. Let him get in there, Chris. Yeah.